Okay, now we're going to have a quick word, look at the word palate in here. So let's try the simplest possible way to combine these letters. P, A, L, A, D, I, N. Now I use this version of the DI combination because sometimes we connect them like so. But this is actually the less simple version because sometimes you need to add a line on the top to make sure clear it's a D depending on what letter came before it. So this is actually the simplest DI combination. Like so. Just to put the I right on top of the D. It gives you the easiest access to both the connection points. So this looks okay. Let's see what kind of double combinations we have to work with here. Well first we've got AL. As we know AL can be combined. You see here's your A and here's your L and then you can come off either point. Um, we've got DI, um, IN can be combined into a single symbol and then you can come into here and you can come out of here or out of here. So, let's put those together a little here. Try to make them a little more fluid. Oh, and the PA combination can be drawn like so or like so. Both are acceptable. So, PA L, A, D, I, N. Okay, what else can we do with it? Well, we could put this up here. We could put the N inside of those if we liked it there. Um, the other thing we can do is we can go P, A, L, A. We could put the D here. Then we could connect the I like so uh, and go I, N. But uh, as we see this combination here, we need to look first at the AI combination. As you see, when you start to move your permutations around, you gain access to combinations that aren't originally there. So in, in it, for the example here, is we're basically getting, gaining access to connecting the A directly to the I. We put the D on the end of the A and then continue out of that into the I. Now there's a way to do that, and the A connects directly with the I like so, actually. The A is, has to change slightly to connect with the I. As you see, the word line will come down and produce the same kind of one bend shape, but it has to be pointed down instead of hitting the left side. Only for the eye does this exception exist. And then we could add the D there like so. So as you can see, you can actually even gain access to combinations that you don't think you have access to by eating letters or combining letters. The other thing we can do is a P has an open space. You can put things in here. This is PA, for example. So if we wanted, we could go... P, A, and then the L, I. oh, and if you aid it with the A, you also gain access to the L combination, that's P, L. Unfortunately, in this situation, it's not clear which would come first. Some, most people would say P, A, but um, it's, it's a little harder to read, so we'll, st we'll stay away from that one for now. So we'll go P, A, L, and then we'd have to go into our A, and then we can go D. We could also add, then add the I, like so, on this end here, and then we could add the N underneath. As you can see, the N continues below, so it's clearly the reading sequence P-A-L-A-D-I-N. The reading sequence is all perfectly intact. So we've got a whole bunch of options to work with here. Palin is quite a flexible word. Let's try to make a square-like glyph or symbol, kind of like a Chinese character, so that it can be used alongside Chinese characters if needed or for, you know, logos and emblems. P's sometimes can be a little difficult to start with. I sometimes like starting the P on one far side, like so, and then just drawing the line like that, depending on how many letters I have to work with. If we did that, P A L, A, D, I, N. That kind of works. I, I ate up way too much room at the top, and I'm not liking that design. So let's try that from scratch again. Uh, we'll put the P in the middle this time. So we'll go down. P, A, L, A, D, I, N. That one looks kind of neat. Um, now, if, let's see if we can't try to make it look like a person or a paladin of some kind. I'm not sure, I'm not very clear what would look like a paladin's emblem. So, if we try to make it look like, well, we've got the P, it can look like a flag if you need. Um, so, we can put things inside of there. Pal, uh, um, that would work. That might fit into a square shape a little better. So let's give that a shot. It kind of looks like we got a flag, maybe. I'm not sure how that helps, but... Uh, I've got to start it further in the middle. Pala. We're going to have to go down. Paladin.
Okay, maybe we're getting there. We do have arms, legs, maybe, if you start... You can't really make them point down and up without changing the, what the letters are, but you got something to work with here.